Heidi, ho, my peeps. This is just a quick little rant, just a personal little thing I need to get off my chest so I can continue on with the rest of my day and be productive. Look, I'm, uh, I'm so dyslexic. Which way is it? There we go. I'm doing laundry. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, it's a wonder I haven't been in a million accidents because I do not know my left from my right. All right. So anyhow, here's my little rant. So last night, I asked my husband, I said, hey, honey, can you go down to the very end of the first row in the craft room? Because I've got shelves on either side and a big shelving unit in the center. He said, you need to go all the way down right by the window. You're going to look to your left. You're going to see shelves. About chin height is going to be some little plastic boxes with colored lids, small boxes. They're um, uh, transparent, so you can see through them to see what's in there. Yeah, okay, sure, I know where that is. Good. Now, what I need you to do is go down and look in those little boxes and bring me the one that has the embroidery floss. Sure, no problem. So he goes back there, and I can hear him moving shit around and dropping things and cussing, and pretty soon he's, I can't find them. Honey, they're right there, right next to the window. They'll be the boxes and then the window. They're right there. Yeah, I see the boxes, but there's no embroidery floss in any of these boxes. Are you sure? Did you open the boxes to see? You can see right straight through them, but if you're not certain, you can open a box. Yeah, okay. More fumbling, more shit falling. No, he says, there's no embroidery floss in any of these boxes. Okay, honey, well, thank you for going. I just spit. God. <laughs> it's what happens when I get mad. <laughs> so... So, yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, here he comes back, sits down. I forget about it. So this afternoon I decided that I'm going to go back and see if I can find the embroidery floss. So I go back to the very end. I had to move a bunch of boxes to get back there. He's real tall, so he can lean forward, right, and he can see stuff. I, I had to move some boxes. So I got back up in there, and I'm looking at my boxes, and, of course... This one is staring me right in the face. The one that has all the embroidery floss, right? The one that he said he looked into and there was no embroidery floss. Now, my husband would not gaslight me. I don't think he even knows how to do that. He is the most helpful, the sweetest guy. I mean, if I say I want something, man, he is on it. He before I know what's happened, he's gone and bought it for me. Case in point, I was looking for these big um, washers. I forgot what he called them. There's some term for this kind of washer. Because I want to do that painted washer um, art where you can make wind chimes and jewelry and crap. It just looked like fun, so I'm going to do some of that. So he happened to have these two, but they have embossed letters on them, and I, that's the, the upside, so I didn't want to see that. I said, you know, I know I have a bunch of them. They're out in the, you know, the shed out there. Oh, okay, he jumps up, runs out. No, he says there weren't any out there. Okay, that's weird. I said, I've got a big ass glass jar about this big, full, absolutely full, thousands of these washers. No, no, I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. He says, you want me to go get you some? I said, no, honey, that's all right. No, no, he says, I'll go get you some. So he rushes off and comes back. We have a hardware store not too far from here, like five miles right up the road. Comes back with this Ace Hardware bag full of washers. And not only did he get me the type I asked for here, but he also got me some others, bigger ones with smaller holes, that sort of thing. Um, just a, just really a nice variety, nice variety of washers. So I've got something to play with. I don't know, there's maybe 30 washers in here. 
Okay, that's the kind of guy he is. So I know for a fact that he looked through that box and he didn't see embroidery floss, which he knows what embroidery floss is. Make no mistake, it's not some, you know, endangered species craft thing that, that he has no inkling about. He knows about it. I mean, that's an old-fashioned thing, and he knows about old-fashioned stuff. It's not that he didn't actually open this damn box. I know he did. I know he did. I, he opened it. I mean, I could hear shit falling in there. I know he did it. I know he looked in here, and he saw this, and he just didn't see embroidery floss. He'll probably say something like, oh, well, you know, I saw this, and, and I figured... What would embroidery floss be doing in a box with a with a, a flower pot? Which actually is a good a good question. Good question. But around here, you know. So, <laughs> so that was the that's one of the little things that really um, that irritated me yesterday. But that's okay. You know what? That's okay. God bless his heart, man. He he tries and he tries. And sometimes he just comes through splendidly like a trooper. And again, of all the things that could be wrong in my life, having my poor husband not recognize embroidery floss when he sees it is so minor, it's not even worth repeating. However, I wanted to use it to illustrate a point. Things could be so much worse. So... I'm not even going to mention this to him. I'm not going to tell him I found it. I'm not going to get on his shit because he didn't recognize it. You know, the guy did the best he knew how to do. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'll be coming back later tonight with another, um, another felt animal sometime late tonight when I'm finally done with it. So, um, yeah, and then I've got a, a video coming up that's a collab with my friend Susan from Ms. Susany. Um, I will try to remember to link her channel. I forget. I say I'm going to link channels and I don't, but Susan will notice if I don't, and she will text me and say, link my dang channel, and I will do it immediately if I forget. So anyway, there you go. That's my, um, that's my little thing I wanted to share, my little, my little inspirational thought for the day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!